Welcome to 1050X, Analysis of Transport Phenomena, Module 2 on Applications. My name is Martin Bazant, Professor of Chemical Engineering and Mathematics at MIT. I will be your guide through a first-of-its-kind experiment in digital learning to teach graduate-level engineering and advanced mathematics in massive open online courses. The first module on mathematical methods teaches how to formulate models of heat and mass transfer based on partial differential equations and solve them analytically. In other words, you'll learn how to derive a theoretical formula. Even in the age of computers and artificial intelligence, this crowning achievement of human intelligence remains the key to transferable scientific knowledge and engineering design. In the second module, we will expand the set of applications while including some additional mathematical methods in a comprehensive treatment of transport phenomena. This term from chemical engineering refers to the macroscopic motion of molecules, momentum, charge, and energy, and has relevance for all areas of physical science and engineering. In the first part of the course, you will learn the principles of fluid dynamics by directly solving the equations of motion. For example, we will study how narrowly confined flows are able to lubricate metal gears and engines, apply liquid coatings to solid substrates, and carry blood through capillaries. You will also learn the principles of hydrodynamic instability, how tiny perturbations in fluid flow can spontaneously grow into complex and often beautiful patterns that control heat and mass transfer. Imagine forcing a fluid such as air or water into a thin gap or porous medium filled with a more viscous fluid such as oil or a molten polymer. In order to find the path of least resistance, the interface between the fluids becomes unstable as fingers of the less viscous fluid penetrate the more viscous one. This phenomenon of viscous fingering is undesirable in some situations such as oil recovery, but convenient in others such as drug delivery or membrane design. Next, we will apply our models of fluid flow to convective heat and mass transfer. For example, we will analyze the process of sparging, which involves mass transfer from rising bubbles, such as oxygen in bioreactors or nitrogen in beer or coffee. We will also study natural convection driven by buoyancy forces, as in the boiling of water heated from below, as well as other examples of phase transformation, such as solidification, melting, and drying. You will then learn the principles of non-equilibrium thermodynamics, which govern phase separation in lithium-ion battery electrodes, as well as the formation of liquid organelles in biological cells. Finally, we will study electrochemical transport of ions, as in water desalination by electrodialysis or signal propagation in the nervous system. The course is based on Lightboard lecture videos, augmented by online tutorials for active learning. Each chapter ends with a homework assignment, and the course ends with a final exam. At MIT, 1050 is a challenging rite of passage for all first-year PhD students in chemical engineering, which also attracts students from other science and engineering departments. We expect the audience for 1050X to be even more diverse and encourage you to give it a try, regardless of your background. Although the second module does assume you have completed the first, you may be able to jump right in if you have previous experience in transport or applied mathematics at the introductory graduate level. Just be prepared to work hard and challenge your mind. I promise you'll be amazed at the beauty of transport phenomena, their many engineering applications, and the power of mathematics to describe them in simple terms. <laughs>